I'm Jerome Goddard, a medical entomologist here at Mississippi State University Extension Service. Today we're going to talk about head lice. Oh my gosh. Head lice are little tiny little insects. They're parasites. They only suck blood. They don't eat Twinkies or crumbs or anything like that. They are only on people. Now other animals have their own lice, but human lice are only on humans. Human to human to human. That's the only way you get them is from somebody else that has them. You don't get them out in the bushes or the weeds or something like that. So anyway, they're parasites. They suck blood. So head lice are on the head or in the scalp region. That's the only place they are. They don't jump off. They're not like a grasshopper or something. They don't jump off and jump on somebody else like a flea. But they're transmitted like, you know, somebody brushing their hair and let some other kid brush their hair with that or with a hat, put a hat on somebody else, sharing items like that. So they're transmitted that way. They soak blood. They don't, they don't transmit any diseases, but they can cause itching and stuff like that and discomfort for being in the head. The thing to do to get rid of them is you got to kill them. So there's several things you have to do to get rid of them. One, there's some lotions or shampoos that you can buy that have pesticides in them. Some of them are real common and real innocuous, like pyrethrins that come from the chrysanthemum flower. You can get that over the counter. You just shampoo your hair with that stuff. It kills the adults. It doesn't kill the eggs. The eggs are called nits and they're attached to the hair. But anyway, you can keep using the pyrethrin products and kill them out. But a better product probably would be the permethrin products like Nix or generics of Nix. They kill the lice and their eggs. So you shampoo your hair with that and maybe retreat after seven to 10 days. The, also, you need to put away toys, bear, little stuffed bears, stuff like that. Put them away. Wash all the sheets and pillowcases and stuff on hot. You don't have to treat the furniture in the room. You don't have to do that. If they get off of a person, it's hard for them to get back on. And use the knit comb. There's a little knit comb in those packages of shampoo. Use that knit comb to brush out or comb out those knits. And generally, that's all you have to do. I do suggest, however, treat everybody in the house. If a little kid's got it, just treat everybody. Otherwise, it's going to be like strep. It's just bouncing from one person to another in that house. Treat them all. Repeat it seven to ten days. You should be fine.